Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to switch materials. So let's go ahead and uh, play the final product right now. Push play. So right now we have a red material. We're going to uh, overlap the box, and now we have the green material. So very simple. So let's go ahead and delete it from the game world and recreate it in, in C++. Again, you never have to uh, watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down in the description below where you can just grab the code and move along. But if not, let's continue with the video. Delete that. Let's go ahead and create a new C++ class. Right click, new C++ class. Um, actor. I'm just going to call it change material. And create class. Okay, awesome. The engine just created the header and CPP file for us. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to get rid of my test files. So right now we're in the header file. Let's go down to public and create our values. Uh, first, we're going to do a uStack mesh component. A U property visible anywhere. Um, and that's going to be a class uStatic mesh component. And I'm just going to call it my mesh. Semicolon. Next, we're going to create two materials U, pro U property, edit anywhere. It's going to be a class U material. Uh, no, uh, class U material. Oh, let me get rid of this. Uh, uh, class U material. We're just going to call it off material. It'll be like an on-off switch that we'll make. That we'll make. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that and do an on material. And then we're going to make a box component so it can trigger our set material function. No, not not your property, but you function rather. And that will be a class you box component. And we'll call it my box component. Get the pointer in there. My box component. And next is going to be a overlap function. I'm going to take it directly from the documentation. The link will be in the description below. Uh, it's this link right here on component begin overlap. I'm just going to go ahead and grab on overlap begin just to save us some time. Paste that in, semicolon, and that should be it for the header file. Let's go, go ahead and jump into the C file or the .cpp file. Uh, first thing we want to do is include debug helpers because that just helps us visualize the. A sphere or the box that we're overlapping draw debug helpers so h and we're also going to want the box component uh, i think that's component slash box component dot h let me check real quick yeah it's components slash box component dot h so we can get that now let's go ahead and set our default values all right, let's make it happen. Let's set up the mesh. My mesh equals create default sub object. Um, that's gonna be a U static mesh component. Close that, uh, get the text in there and just call it my mesh. And we're gonna set it as the root, I believe, root component equals my mesh. We're jumping down to the box collision component that's my box component equals create uh, create default sub object create default sub object there we go um, it's gonna be a u box component uh, set the text for it and we're just gonna call it box comp whatever okay now let's set up the sizes and everything else with it uh, it'll be my box component arrow operator set init extent and that will be a vector a vector and we're just going to do 100 ah 100 100 100 you might not have to put all three i, I think if you just put the first one it'll copy it for the next two but let's just do all three at the moment uh my box 
component, arrow operator, uh, set collision, profile name, and we're gonna set it to trigger. Uh, my box component, uh, arrow operator, we're gonna attach it to the root component. Set up attachment, set it to the root component. Uh, okay, what's next? Uh, we're gonna set up our materials. So the on material will be will equal create default sub object, create default sub object, and that'll be a U material. Uh, set up the text, and it will be on material. I'm gonna copy it for the off material. Now we're gonna connect the overlap function. And it's gonna be my box component, arrow operator, on component, begin, overlap, uh, dot, add dynamic. Uh, we're referencing this actor, reference this actor's uh, change material mesh, colon, colon, on overlap begin function. I will create in just a second on overlap begin. Okay, so we're adding the dynamic to the component. We're referencing these actors on overlap begin function that we haven't made yet. Moving to the next step on begin play, let's just go ahead and draw our debug helper just so we can visualize our collision box. Draw a debug box, get world, get actor location f vector 100 100 100 so it's the same as the extent that we initialized uh, for color let's try white true so it doesn't go away after it's drawn negative uh, one zero and we'll give it a width of 10 units 10 unreal units uh what's next um let's go ahead and set the material for the mesh to begin with and we're going to begin with the off material so my mesh can be set uh set material set material that's right right and it's going to be in the array of materials uh this you know we'll probably use a mesh that only has one material but you might have a mesh that takes in multiple materials so for like uh armors and face and maybe a different properties that they consume so this one it will be very simple we're taking the first material that that uses which will be zero in the array and we want it to be off material so save that uh moving on let's skip the tick function and let's jump into our on overlap begin function. And I'll be void a change material on overlap begin. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the parameters from the header file because there's just a lot of them. Copy and paste those bad boys in. Let's do our error checks. Uh, if if other actor does not equal null pointer, and other actor does not equal itself, and uh, what else? Other comp, right? And if other comp does not equal the null pointer. So there we go, we got some standard error checks. Now let's jump into the if function. So once this overlap hits, what, what we want to do is change the mesh, uh, the mesh's material to the on material, all right? All right, the zero, again, that's the first in the array, on material. And that's it, let's compile it, see if we have any errors, and 
We'll we'll create the materials as well so we can kind of have a better representation. But let's see what happens. All right, so it failed. Let me check my error log. Unrecognized you material. All right, so I spelled material wrong. I think it's up here. Uh, ah, where is it? Is in my uh, it's in my header file. Yeah. There we go. Uh, material can't spell. There we go. We gotta do it for both of them. Let's see if we're good. All right, another error. A uh, bad function definition. That's on change material header thirty six. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think we need a void here. Bad function change material header thirty six. Be thirty six. Um. Oh yeah, because it's not a function; it's a property. But I think I also caught the other error here as well by putting the void right there. All right, now we got a bunch more errors. Goodness gracious. All right, boss component. Oh my god. All right, uh, box component set in it extent. Oh, you know, I think I was going crazy. Um, it's it's not set in it extent. It's uh, it, in it box extent. Let's save that. Uh, uh, change material. Okay, line twenty-five. It's just change material. I put a mesh there. I don't know. Probably thinking of some other stuff. Delete that. Compile. Got one more error. Draw debug box D is definitely not a function. Get rid of that D. And my golly. I think that might be it. Good. All right, so completed. Let's go ahead and drag it in. Uh, move it up. Let's add our mesh right up here. We're just gonna go cube. Uh, I, no, that's a physical mesh. I just need the regular mesh. Yeah, there we go. Our stack mesh. Uh, I'm just gonna go with a one meter cube. Let's go ahead and jump over to the starter content. Let's jump over to our materials and create two, mo two more materials. I already have some test ones created, but let's go ahead and create our on and off ones. Uh, material on material. Let's jump into it. This will be very quick. Uh, right click uh, params. I want a vector parameter. I'm gonna jump into it. I'm gonna set green to one, just so I can get that bright green color. Click OK. Uh, I'm gonna get a constant. No, not that. Shoot. Right click uh, constant. I'm gonna set it to 50. I'm gonna multiply. Multiply this one here in the equal. Let me zoom in a little bit. My bad. Oh, that's as close as I can go. Uh, 50 right here. We're going to add it to the emissive color. Now I have a glowing green. I'm going to save that. Uh, get out of that. Now I'm going to copy it, duplicate it, right click, duplicate. Uh, call it off material. And you probably know what I'm going to do already, but I'm just going to change this green value to zero and change the red value. Ah, I messed up. Uh, what happened to it? I don't want that. Uh, oh, advanced. Uh, change that to one. Change the red value to one. Click OK. 
Uh, now I have it glowing red. I'm gonna apply it, save it, get out of it. Uh, now right on the details panel, on the top right, uh, I'm, uh, I called it change material. So I'm gonna click that. Then when I search, scroll down, I'm gonna have my two materials that I created um, in the CBP folder. So I'm gonna have off material and on material right here. Uh, so we're gonna search for what we just created. Um, off material, I'm gonna set as off material. And for the on material, I'm gonna set as on material. The two materials that we just created. So I'm gonna click play and see what happens. So right now we have it off. We're gonna, once we overlap, it'll turn green. And bam, we got it. So now we're changing materials on the fly. So that's it for this for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next